I'm not saying blindly follow authority. I would never say that. But also you have to really think about what battle you're fighting and why you're fighting what you're fighting. It's not that you're wrong for fighting. It's that you're fighting the wrong thing. I think there needs to come a point when we all have to kind of look at each other and realize that we are not the same. We are all different. Doesn't mean we're not as good as each other. It means we're different. And we have to accept that different people want different things and will live a different life. But ultimately, when it comes down to it, most people don't want anyone to get hurt. But they've been polarized and weaponized against each other because there are people who want to manipulate and control us and turn us into animals of our own destruction. And that's not what we are. You know, you're not wearing, you're not not wearing a mask because you think it's government control, because if you're really worried about being controlled, you'd be fighting against a lot of other things that happened long before this. If you were really worried about being controlled, you'd fight against having to get to school on time, or an eight-hour workday, or a 40-hour work week, or, you know, the fact that money is being given to people that, you know, don't need the money and taken away from people that do. That control, poverty is control. If you're really worried about that, if you're really worried about, you know, uh, election fraud, you would be more concerned about gerrymandering and, and voter suppression. But you're not. You're worried about your side winning. You're worried about what you perceive to be right being, you know, held up above all other things. If you're really worried about life, you wouldn't be just angry at people getting abortions. You'd be angry at the death penalty. You'd be angry at people who, you know, are in such poverty that they starve to death. That's what you'd be angry at. If you really were about life, you'd be out there adopting kids or helping people or, you know, never mind when the baby's born, you just, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, if you really cared about those things and you can justify it all you want, you can argue it all you want, but when it comes down to it, you have to look at your own morality and what you actually believe and then what you say you believe. If you say, I don't believe that women should have the right to choose, but I think we should be allowed to kill people with the death penalty then that's what you believe. Don't say, I'm a pro-lifer, because you're not. Don't say, I'm against government control. I don't want the government controlling me. What you should say is, I want to have my guns, and I don't want to wear a mask, but I'm fine with cops arresting people and being used as, a, as stormtroopers. I'm fine with that, because it doesn't affect me. If you think everyone should have a job, then what you need to do is support people getting jobs. Support people, not, well, they can't have my job. Well, hold on a second. If someone's more qualified for your job than you, isn't that how capitalism works? Doesn't the cream rise to the top? There are things that people are willing to ethically forgive themselves over, which I think we need to start having a reckoning with. And one of the problems we have is that not everybody is mentally equipped to make these choices, to make these introspective, uh, you, you can work around it all you want, but when it comes down to it, you need to really think about why you're doing what you're doing and why you believe what you believe. And it's very easy to say conspiracy theory and this and that or bring in your religion or whatever it is to justify it. But ultimately, you are the answer to the question. And you need to really ask yourself why you're doing what you're doing why you're angry at who you're angry at, why you hate who you hate, why you need what you need, why you take what you take. It's time to start examining that. And then maybe, instead of some of us pulling the others, kicking and screaming into the future, we can all work together. And then when we get there, we can all get what we need, regardless of what your abilities are, or what your dreams are, or hopefully, we're all on the same page ethically and morally because that's the only way forward. This is, this can't continue. This can't keep going. We're driving ourselves off a cliff and it's not romantic like Thelma and Louise, it's lemmings. And that's what we are. We're not sheep, we're lemmings. <laughs>